Hello, welcome to this week's energy series. We are Peyton, Corey, and myself, Yaila, and this week we are talking about things that deplete your energy or throw it off completely. So every week we come to you with a new video with different topics around energy, your ascension process, psychic tools, and we like to bring in our experience from the last decade of all of the work that we've been doing individually for ourselves and now that we work with our clients and teach our students. So if these are things that you're interested in, make sure to subscribe to each of our YouTube channels, like, share, comment. We love to hear your feedback. So kicking off tonight, um, how about for you, Peyton? What would you like to talk about as far as things that either deplete your energy or throw it completely off? This is, oh my God, such a great topic, especially for what we are just collectively in the middle of right now. And so when we decided we were going to chat about this, I popped in to ask my guides, you know, what they thought uh, was most important for light workers to know as they are, they are watching us, of course, from a multidimensional perspective and seeing where we get thrown off a little bit and um, where we're able to hold our energy better. And so what they were telling me and what I noticed with my energy is that as light workers, anything we give our attention to affects our energy. And it's gonna affect it either in a positive direction or it's gonna affect it in a negative direction. And so the way, the way my guides always sum it up to me is anything you take in affects your energy. And so the things that for me are depleting to my energy is um, at this point, the most important thing is sources of information. That is where I can get my energy just absolutely thrown out the window if I am not careful about the sources of information I am listening to. Um, whether that it might be things I'm seeing on social media, whether that might be things I'm seeing on TV, but anything where someone is telling us what is going on, uh, we have to be super careful with right now because there is so much uh, disinformation, misinformation, versions of the truth. Um, and so by taking that information in, we make that our reality. And to me, that is affecting my reality and my vibration probably more than anything else. So for me, uh, the first thing I come back to is being super careful. And we talked about this in our discernment video about how important it is to be careful with where you place your, your attention, because whatever we're placing our attention on, we are oftentimes, unless we're super careful, matching the energy of that. So unless you can hear all sorts of doom and gloom and still be happy, which most of us can't do, we have not reached that level of mastery yet. Um, being very careful with where you place your attention is uh, my number one thing when I think about things that affect my energy, because there are so many scary stories out there right now, scary versions of reality. And if you are listening to them, marinating in them, even helping lots of clients who are dealing with really rough stuff right now, um, it's very easy to slip into making that your truth, believing that that is the only version of reality. And that can really kill your vibration faster than anything else. Uh, but for me, some other things that I pay attention to that can negatively affect my energy are the foods that I take in. Um, am I eating healthy, high vibration foods, or am I slipping into eating things that aren't so good for me? You know, denser, lower vibrational foods um, can affect, I can actually feel that affecting my energy. If I'm eating anything that is not, you know, organic, clean, um, as clean as possible, um, those things can very easily affect our energy, but also the company that we are taking in, the people we are spending time with uh, have a huge effect on our energy field. Um, are you spending time with people who are uplifting you and giving you energy, or are you, like so many light workers are falling into right now, being drained by the people you are spending time with? And so that's a huge thing to take a look at, especially if you feel like you are energetically vulnerable right now, which so many of us do as we are trying to process these ascension energies and deal with the Schumann resonance and the solar flares. It can all be just something to watch if you're starting to feel off, you know, what in your experience is draining your energy. So those are a few things that deplete my energy, at least as things are going right now. Um, keeping an eye on that information you take in, though, is probably my number one advice to people. So how about you, Corey? What depletes your energy? 
You know, uh, Peyton, that was good. Uh, you know, and uh, I, I didn't even think about the foods, but you know, that's absolutely definitely one thing that uh, is energy depleting. Well, you know, the world and the energy is so strong right now. And, you know, as light workers, energy healers, teachers, you know, all these things, we all know that we uh, signed up for this. You know, we're like, you know, there's going to come a day where we're going to be helping a lot of people. And this is what we train for. You know, it's, it's like the Olympics. <laughs> it feels like the Olympics right now. Um, and I'm grateful to be able to do that, but it is draining and I'm finding that, um, you know, I can handle a lot. I can handle a lot, but what drains, um, what I'm seeing drain other people, my clients is trying to keep up with the same pace that they've always kept up with. So putting out a lot of energy, you know, I'm uh, like, I'm a type of person that, um, in order to um, get energized, working out is really good. But I'm finding right now at this time that um, I'm putting out like exercising um, so much with my clients um, that um, when I go to work out, I can't work out as hard as I, I used to because I'm already depleted. So I'm finding that, you know, a lot of my clients are running at so much energy because we're all in a survival mode on the planet right now. And so everybody's just revved up. So what's depleting uh, is that, you know, just that survival um, uh, high octane energy, you know, and it's different if it's high octane where it's like laughing and giggling and, but it's the, it's the fear and the survival that, um, and I've always been able to handle a lot of that, always. But on top of, you know, so what depletes us is, like you said, Peyton, the solar flares. You know, we've been having a lot of solar flares and that's energy hitting the planet. And so it raises, you know, the frequency of the planet and it affects all of us. That's been very depleting. Though, Oftentimes for me that when that vibration gets really high on the planet, that's when I get energized. It used to be that when the base rate, the human resonance of the planet was at its base rate of 7.83, uh, I had a lot of energy. But as I, I started doing a lot of energy work and, and getting rid of a lot of you know, my wounds and you know, the dense energy that was in my body, um, I find that when the, the, the human resonance is at 7.83 i'm so tired and when it runs higher i've got a lot of energy but in that in the environment you know what what drain what is energy drain draining is being in the environment so much with that high um uh survival fear energy and so i've been finding that um the quiet times you know replenishing myself and that includes, I loved what you said, Peyton, too, about, you know, the television you watch or the, the you know, the information that you're getting. And, uh, you know, if I get overstimulated by too much information, it starts to deplete my energy. So like today, I noticed that I started listening to um, music that um uh, you know that was happy you know happy and because i needed to replenish myself that way and as light workers right now uh even even the light workers as much work as we've done are getting really really depleted and i never thought that i'd be that person but i am and it's okay so um taking time you know i've been taking naps so what depletes my energy is, you know, the human resonance. And I, and honestly, I've been checked. I checked the astrology in the morning. You know, I run my energy. I check into the collective and prepare myself for the day and know that if I check the human resonance or my body tells me what the human resonance is, that I know that I might need to alter my day. But those are the things. And when I don't, when I don't drink enough water, 
I get very depleted very fast these days by not drinking a lot of water. And so uh, I've had to run a lot more energy these days, you know, because literally uh, actually just talking a lot has been depleting my energy as well. So, um, you know, we could all use a lot more, you know, compassion and love that always helps when we send it out and, you know, get around people who can, can return that right now uh, is really important because the whole energy of survival and fear is so energy depleting, you know, whether we want it to or not. So that's about all I have right now about that topic. So, Yaila, what have you got for us? <laughs> <laughs> well, definitely will um, second and third what both of you said. Obviously, the information you're getting, um, you know, the people you're around, food, water, those are all big things to really pay attention to. Other things that would add, I would add to that is what I've noticed in the past where I've felt the most burned out and drained is when I was doing things or saying yes to things that I really didn't want to do. Um, there's a saying, stop saying yes to you hate. Um, <laughs> stop saying yes to stuff you hate because this is really, really depleting for our energy. We are majorly burned out. You know, there's a quote that says, you know, stress is working hard for somebody else's dream and enthusiasm is working hard for your own. You know, there is something to be said about putting your energy towards things that you genuinely have a connection to. And um, sometimes we're in conversations or situations that in the beginning it was in alignment and now it's evolved to wherever it's evolved to. And sometimes it's just not really in alignment anymore. So I think as a collective right now, many people are being woken up to their true values and what is draining for them is saying yes to stuff that's not in alignment. Yes to things that they don't want to be saying yes to anymore. And going back to what you're saying, Corey, you know, the fear. And then we kind of get in our head about, well, I can't say no now because I'm this far out. It's like, we always have a choice. There's always options. We live in a pure potential reality. And so we stop our natural intuition and that actually starts to deplete our energy even more when we start telling ourselves we can't, no, there's no possible way. I'm stuck here. That's draining. That's so draining to your soul, to your energy, to your intuition, everything. So looking at those things that you're saying yes to that you don't really want to say yes to, I think is, a, is another great place to look at what is draining your energy. Um, we can also go down rabbit holes. You know, I've, I've caught myself in the past, just like scrolling through social media when I was, you know, really needing to kind of go a little more inward to see like what was off, what was out of alignment, but we'll just kind of distract and like go off, to, you know, we'll watch something on TV. We'll scroll through social media, you know, we'll kind of find these distracting things. And next thing you know, you're just, you're like, you're brain is wired because you've been looking at a screen, but your, your energy is depleted and you actually haven't gained anything from that experience. And so looking at those places where you're kind of just like numbing out is also can be not every single time, but can be very depleting for your energy. You know, sometimes we're being called to look inward and give ourselves that time and space um, to process whatever emotions need to come up to gain whatever insights we need to gain. But then, you know, we don't feel like doing it. And so we'll go down these distractions and then we feel even more depleted. So those are two really big things where I've, I've caught myself in the past um, that really just deplete my energy. Uh, the last thing I would add that can really deplete your energy, very similar to, you know, saying yes to things that you don't want. Um, when you keep saying no to those inner callings, you know, when you, what you're saying no to, to yourself, it's like, you have these kind of inner callings to explore something, to learn more about something, to reach out for something. Um, but we keep telling yourself, no, we keep pushing it off that procrastination. It's almost like that analysis paralysis that drains our energy too. So it's like stuff you're saying yes to stuff you're saying no to and stuff you're distracting yourself with would be the ones that, I would add to 
what drains your energy besides what the two of you have already mentioned. But what else, ladies? What else comes to your mind as far as energy depleters, drainers, or just throws your energy off? I love what you said, Yagila, about um, social media, because the past couple days, I would just find myself going to pick up the phone just to get on social media like I do, start the scrolling, and my guides have actually been coming in and saying, put the phone down, put it down, (laughs) and I'm like, oh my God, because it was like you were doing, I was just doing it as a distraction or to see what was going on. And what the guides are saying is it's time to go inside to just to figure out what is going on. You have everything you need inside and putting your attention just out of habit on these external sources lets them dictate reality, lets them tell you what is truth. And they said, it's such a slippery slope for people right now to be looking outside of themselves for knowledge, for their next steps, for anything. And so it's funny because I go for that phone and I'll hear the guys go, uh, 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 <laughs> like put it down. So I think you're right on point with that. Uh, one last thing I would throw in is that I've seen some, some clients really struggling with, uh, which really plays off what you were saying, Yaila, is trying to hold on to things that don't fit you anymore, whether that is old friendships, whether that is an old job. But if you are on your spiritual path, you've been growing and developing and raising your vibration. And so certain things just need to move kind of organically out of your experience. But I find a lot of people are really struggling right now with clinging to things that the universe is trying to separate them from for a reason, because they deplete, you know, my client's energy and people are finding it hard to let go even though they know deep in their heart, something doesn't fit them anymore. So I think that's another way that we can very easily kind of get drained is when we're trying to hold on to things that don't fit us anymore. So. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And you know what? And, and that also too, you know, uh, that's great, Peyton. And I just love you ladies. I, I just always love doing these conversations. Because I learned so much um, from both of you ladies, always, 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 always. And yes, that's what I've noticed too with clients is um, those distractions and trying to uh, physically, you know, work through things, whether it's over exercising, it's over gathering, you know, with other people. And it is a time to go within right now. It really is a time to go within. And I've kind of, I've had, you know, the opposite uh, uh, of you, Peyton, in, in some ways, is that I put my phone down and, I, and I've been just walking away from it. There's like, I, I just don't want to pick it up. <laughs> and because I'm, I'm, uh, I feel, you know, I do, I feel overstimulated because of, the outer world, you know, social media, and um, and I'm seeing that a lot with my friends and with clients. That it's that old paradigm that they're still trying to um, live, you know, by you know, you know, doing, going, you know, doing, going, doing, going, go, 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 and because the frequency of the planet and this is raising. It's more taxing, and uh, that's why people too are, get sick. You know, getting sick because it's just trying to still be in that the things that you know that we all need to let go of. You know, and that's one of them is the old paradigm and finding a new way to be. You know, and to do uh, at this time. You know, me too. I mean. You know, so everybody's like, come on, let's go, let's go, let's do, let's do, let's do. And I'm like, uh, no, I need to stay in today. Yep. You know, self-care right now is, and always really, is really important because it's easy to get depleted right now. Just because the frequencies of the planet, period, are higher, are higher. And, and we've had a lot of solar flares. So it's already depletion I think too just going through just a growth we've talked about growth periods in a previous video but 
um, when you're when you're moving into a new chapter, next level in your progress, you know, there's new insights. There's kind of like this um, that saying it's darkest before the dawn. You know, you kind of go through this shadow type period and you're in a growth period and maybe you feel a little more anxious or depressed or just more tired. Um, going through growth period can feel like your energy is depleted and just again taking that time within looking within, trying to avoid those distractions, giving yourself that self-care, don't make yourself wrong for the process, um, will really help you bring your energy back and also bring in new insights for your next steps. So growth periods, even though they're a good thing, ultimately they're, you know, they're taxing on your energy system <laughs> when you're going through them. And I, we're kind of a mid collective shadow period at the moment. So we're, we're processing a lot individually and everybody. So go slow. Doing less is actually more beneficial at the moment. And you are your own guru. <laughs> the answer is like Payne said, it's not out there. Like Corey said, it's not out there. It's inside, inside. So, and ladies, any last comments before we wrap up? All set. Cool. Well, thank you so much for joining us for this week's topic on things that can deplete or drain your energy. Again, if you found this conversation helpful, you'd like to see more, be sure to follow each of our YouTube channels linked below. Connect with us on all of our social media also linked. And of course, we always appreciate your likes, your shares, your comments, saves, tagging your friends who you think might find this helpful as well. We'll see you next week for our next topic. See you then. <laughs> Bye.